Hello and welcome to today's Within 10 Minutes tutorial. Today we'll be showing you two techniques that you can use for UV mapping in 3D Lightwave. But first, there's a specific UV texture that we'll be using for the tutorial and the files will be available through the links in the description. Once you have those, let's continue on. Here we are in Modeler now and we've got a cube set up and this object has sides that are 1.5 meters in length and we've just used the rounder tool located in the multiply tab to give it a nice roundish edge to it so it's a bit more aesthetically pleasing. Once you have your object ready, let's continue. Go to the top left view and change the view drop down to UV texture. Then the drop down immediately next to it. Click on load image and select the UV texture we've provided. We are doing this now so that we can place the UVs in the right location. It is not the actual UV map itself. You will put that on later through the surface editor. Click on T at the bottom right for UV textures. Then click on the drop down across from it and select new. In the window that appears, uncheck initial value so that the actual UV map is not made right away. You'll be making them separately, one by one. Press create. Select one surface of the die and press shift close square bracket to select the polygons around it. Go to the map tab and then go down to the UV texture area and select make UVs. Make sure you have the correct axis chosen. You can see here it is facing the Z axis, so that is selected. Leave the map type on planar because it is mostly a flat surface. Now press create. Go to modify and press resize, shift H, and then resize the UV you have just made in UV texture. Press D for display options, then the backgrounds tab, lower the contrast and brightness. This is so you can see the UV more clearly. It won't affect the actual texture itself. Now go into Surface Editor, F5, and on the default surface for the die, press the T under Color for the surface of the texture. Select UV under Projection, then under UV Map, select the die texture you have. Then select the die map and image. You should now see the die that you have is projecting on the UV you selected for it. Repeat the earlier process for making the UV. Bear in mind that you select the right axis while defining each UV. When you're finished, save your object, and then go load the Macintosh model that we've provided for you as practice in the next part of the tutorial. Bear in mind that the processes in the next part of the tutorial are quite time consuming and tedious. So you might just want to follow along, and then perhaps trial out the methods on a more simpler object, perhaps even the die, before you move on to trying it with something a bit more tedious, like the model that we've provided for you. To make an endomorph, click on the M in the lower right corner and choose New. Give it a name, choose Relative, and Create. Now like with the die, click the T and create a new UV texture. Remember to have the initial value box unchecked. The next step is to pull apart, flatten out, and line up all the pieces you can see here. Depending on the complexity of your object, this is a very long and tedious process. The method we showed earlier is the easiest. But as I said, sometimes an object is too complex. For example, a high-res model of a motherboard and its attached components, or even perhaps a human or an animal. Endomorphing allows for more control and decision about where your things will go when you create your UV. You just need patience. Also, bear in mind that when you are in your endomorph mode, you are not changing the object. To return to your base view, click M and then change the selection back to base. You can use the same method to cycle between your endomorph and base views respectively.
When you are satisfied with how things are lined up in the UV map view, click the full screen option of that view and take a screenshot. You may wish to go into display options and change the layouts and background color first, or even to activate the grid. With your screenshot taken, you are ready to go into a program such as Photoshop, where you can create your UV texture, which you can later bring in and apply through the surface editor in the same way you have earlier with the dye.